Elf van Murm, huur! Fight Mike here with the victorious winner of West Coast Fighting 11. Now he's fighting a 12. David Mitchell with the hood on. How you feeling? Feeling good, man. Feeling swole, ready to get down. All right, Fight Mike here, pre-fight. Nick Jordan fighting against Fierce Taylor. How you feeling, man? I feel good, man. I uh, rehydrated well. Got a good night's sleep. Ate well. Um, so I'm ready to go out there and, and do my thing. Fought 185. Now you're fighting at 205. You fought at 170 before. So what prompted this uh, 205? There was just no one that wanted to challenge for the 185 pound belt, so I stepped up to 205. And if there's no one to challenge for the 205 belt, I'll go to a heavyweight. Damn. He's got a decent background, good amateur record, so I respect that. But on the other end, I've got a really good amateur background too with wrestling, and you know we'll let the best man win. How was your diet, dude? I know uh, you're kind of watching away last time in your uh, upcoming fight to fight Matt Major, but now it's 205 now. So were you just eating whatever you wanted? Yeah, I was trying that, the dirty bulking, but, you know, it kind of catches up with you and slows you down a little bit. So I just ate clean food, but just more of it, you know, a little more meat, more eggs, more vegetables, and, you know, that's what I do, more butter. How much weight are you cutting to come into this to this fight? Um, this this cut, or this fight, I dropped to 140 for the first time that I've, I haven't made 140 since my first year of college. Um, but I did it all right. I dieted right. I was only five pounds over the morning before weigh-ins. Felt great. Got an IV after, so I cut about 20, but I feel I feel phenomenal. I've got a good workout in this morning. I'm ready to go. Who was a better surfer, you or Uriah? <sighs> Probably me, just because I lived in Southern California for a little while, and I've seen him on the surfboard. Now, he's good, but I'll challenge him to a surf match, or whatever you call it. <laughs> well, I won't, because I'll probably drown. <laughs> so what do you know about Mike Gonzalez? Uh, striker, scrappy. You know, I've seen him knock some people out, and... He's also gets submitted a lot. I don't think he's gonna be able to hang on the ground, but uh, like to you know get into war with him and and uh, you know give him a chance at it before I take him down and hopefully knock him out. So man, uh, how was how was the training camp, man? Who were your, like your main training partners oh, to get you ready? Man, this whole the whole team. I couldn't even name one of them, but you know one in particular, Lance, Joe Benavidez, uh, Chad. They're all there to to help me out and you know vice versa. It's kind of like a brotherhood of camaraderie. We, you know, we're all there for each other, win, lose, or draw. You know, you go out there and you train every day, and it's a lifestyle. It's not really a month-to-month a -month thing. So I, uh, I moved up here about a year ago, um, and have been training pretty nonstop since. I was supposed to fight in April. I tore my pec, kind of pushed it back. So this is the first chance I've been able to get into a, into a, the, or the cage since, uh, since I last fought in August. All right, man. Got people calling you, so I won't take, take up too much of your time. I'm going to catch you on the post. Good luck. All right. Thanks, man. All right, man. I won't take up too much of your time. I know your ride is probably coming here any second. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to catch you on the post fight, dude. Good luck. Awesome. Fight Mike here with the victorious Nick Jordan, Team Alpha Male, man. Dominated performance. How you feel? I feel relieved, man. Um, this was my first fight under Alpha Male. I knew there was a lot of pressure, regardless of what the guys say. Like when you ever come to this, if you ever come to this team, I feel like it's a proving ground, especially if you're a, a Division One wrestler like I was. Like I felt like I had to prove that you know I belong. You know I train hard. I train with these guys every day. Um, I try to push them as hard as I can, but you know it's always that aspect of all right, this is me doing this now. Like I got to go out and compete and you know it's more than just the training it's being able to compete in front of a crowd so you know I'm really happy with my performance I knew he was going to come out and try to wrestle me he, he wore a singlet to weigh-ins. Five make here with Bulletproof David Mitchell victorious at 205 man how are you feeling? I feel amazing man feel good about my win upset about the um the no contest on Josh Emmett I thought that uh the guy was shooting a takedown and Josh just knocked his ass out I don't understand they're saying he's grounded or whatever, but there's no contest. I don't, I don't understand. They, I mean, what are they gonna do? Give the guy another fight? He just, he's already on his way to the hospital. So, as far as I'm concerned, Josh Emmett's the 155 champ, and 
just got robbed tonight. Um, he, there's some Twitter stuff that he posted about it. That you know, it's all water under the bridge, but just kind of little things that I saw that I was like, all right, he might try to test me in my best game, which you know, there's very few guys that are going to be you know able to do that. So my hats off to him. He's a great opponent. Um, he was 18 and two as an amateur, so I knew he had some some credentials. I didn't take him lightly, um, but at the same time, I knew that I was fast. I knew I was strong. You know, I knew I would be able to implement my game plan if the, if the cards were right. And it was my night tonight. So, have you ever seen anything like this ever in MMA? Um, you know, sometimes it just ends like that, and you have a, a, a foul or an injury, and it's just disappointing. But other than that, I think it was an amazing night to fight. You know, I got a good finish in a couple minutes. Uh, mounted TKO or at his back or something and then oh boy that heavyweight fight was one hell of a fight so overall it's a huge smashing success for West Coast fighting yeah man I saw you uh, took his back had the mount raining punches down he hung in there for a little bit was he uh, did you expect to be that much stronger than him on the ground uh, yeah yeah no I mean I, he came out hot he came out you know like he I felt him and, you know, he weighed in at 136. I was like, damn, this guy's pretty strong, you know. Um, but I, I still knew that I was strong, too. So it wasn't it wasn't a battle that I've, I haven't fought before uh, multiple times in the room. So I just overcame the adversity that I had with him, uh, let him try to burn some of that energy. I knew once I got on top of him, he was going to wear out quick because I have heavy hips. I, it's hard to get me off you. Um, he did a couple of times. He was able to reverse me. But I, I never felt in danger at all in any of those positions, even when I was on my back. So um, I figured that it was going to be, you know, just a, a night of just flowing. You know, we try to stress flowing and, and keeping it keeping it playful and, and having a good time. And that's what I was doing. I was intense. Um, I got a little hyped after I won. I usually don't do that, but that was my first TKO of my career. So I was like, I had to let out that energy. I went in there and I told myself, hey, you need to get a knockout or a TKO. And it was a personal goal of mine, and I did it. And I feel fucking aw or freaking amazing. So you can believe that. <laughs> he felt fucking awesome. Fuck there, by Mike said it. In one month, we're going to have um, WSFO, World Series of Fighting, coming to, um, right here to McClellan. I'm headlining the undercard, and uh, I'm hoping that everyone comes out and supports. Please, you know, get on my Facebook, send me a message, my Instagram, David Mitchell MMA. Hit me up on Facebook, David Mitchell. Um, in Sacramento here, and it's right here at McClellan, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be epic. We've, you know, we're, we're building a legacy here. So, what's uh, next on the agenda for you, man? Yeah. Hopefully, the World Series card, December 13th. I'll talk to Brandon, um, try to get on that card. I kind of jacked my shoulder up, so I got to see what's up with that. But uh, we'll see, see what goes. All right, man. We'll take any more of your time, dude. It's victorious. Uh, I'm gonna, probably gonna go party with you guys, dude. So, oh, yeah. Nick Jordan, he's victorious on Fight Mike. We out, dude. All right, congratulations on your win. He has a very unfortunate main event, but we look forward to seeing you. Thank you for your time, David Wilson Mitchell. Thank you, buddy.